because why would a retailer even invest in something to try if the vision for the long term doesn't quite add up, right? And I think that's really important to get right from the beginning. And, and maybe just connecting more closely with what Guy was just saying, that topic of getting a receipt in, in real time instantly as you check out the store, that is one of the game changers we see in the market because this increases customer confidence and loyalty because they know that they have essentially paid for what they have taken from the store right. and therefore it increases their return visit as well. So with that in mind, then thinking about how do you then scale that across the board, we see a couple of things that the retailers will need to traverse across. And Annika will know this much more closely than us. But the, there are some trends that we're starting to observe. One of them is, is, look, there's going to be a lot of technology that is needed, right? Many sensors, many cameras. You're refitting the store to some degree. You could probably do it as a retrofit. That's okay. And, and maybe you could design it in, in a new store footprint as well. But there, the procurement of all of that technology and the installation of it is, is really heavy lifting. It is a big uphill climb, right? And here, the retailers have to invest in a huge capital outlay to make sure that they can cover the costs there. One of the things that we're also helping our clients to enable is, is how do you create a new business model? Why does it always have to be big CapEx outlays day one? Whereas you could probably look at more of an OPEX based model. So how do you look at this from a more of a, um, and as a service rather than it being just a, a CapEx investment initially and therefore looking at an alternative model. So when we think about scaling, the numbers, they really do need to add up. So therefore we have to reduce the barriers to entry for our retailers to really take that scaling option. The other thing I would say is uh, to double click on the change management topic. This is huge, right? Because this isn't just a, a process change anymore about your current process and then there's a new process. There's a real cultural thing here as well, cultural on the consumer experience side and also a cultural um, change on the employee experience. And, and you know, these employees, some of them have worked in these retailers for a very long time and making sure that they retain that talent and also get to upskill them and show them that there's a strong career path for them is also equally as important as doing all of these fun, funky, shiny tech changes that we like right. to do. So that change management is really end-to-end is to is process technology but people as well I would say both on the customer side and on the employee side and then also one of the other things that we've also been getting involved in is, is support so imagine you already have your own support center you're able to support the services you have today but you're firing up this new technology and it's starting to scale across many more stores how do you then enable the support system to cater for that so then the other thing that we're also enabling our customers to do is set up a center of excellence that sits behind your support center that caters for all of this new technology that's uh, going to be installed and then used analyzed from a digital twin perspective and then lastly, the thing that I think is, um, which is always a thing that we care about the most at the beginning, but then with operational changes and issues and culture things, it kind of gets hidden away is this new data that we then capture, what do we do with it? Do we have a process to actually do something with that? Those hidden insights mm -hmm. that we've now just unlocked, how are we going to leverage them and do something with them? And, and this platform that we then can create for our customers that isn't just going to be in a siloed um, you know division way but right the way across the enterprise unlocking those data insights fully end-to-end -end for the enterprise is a really important area for us because this is really where we see that the retailers can sell micro insights back to their suppliers they're able to change the experience of their consumers they're able to do so many more things than they were able to do before and also empower their employees with the right data insights for them to add value back into the store experience. 